Hey guys, nice to see you here again. Uh, so this time, uh, I was playing with my headphones, right? Uh, very nice headphones, Bluetooth, 8 hours on the single charge, and they're excellent, apart from one single thing that annoys the heck out of me. It has a battery indicator that says uh, three levels of the battery charge. So I've got high, which lasts about 10 minutes uh, after the charge, mid, which lasts for 8 hours, and the low level, which gives me 5 minutes to grab up, go upstairs, grab a cable and start charging it. However, if I'm going to test my headphones for battery level, about 6 minutes before that, it will tell me that my battery is medium and unless I remember to charge it, I'm screwed. So, I came up with a nice task solution. Uh, it's uh, neat because you can use uh, this uh, profile with any Bluetooth device, whether it has a battery indicator like a watch or not. Uh, so speakers, headphones, everything goes. Uh, it's vanilla tasker, but obviously feel free to improve it uh, with the plugins if you want. And you can use it right away uh, to estimate battery life left on any Bluetooth device. So uh, let's start. Here's the quick look what happens on the screen when the Bluetooth device is disconnected. So I get a notification uh, which uh, has two options. I, I can either close it or simply um, we just reset the battery statistics and this is how uh, the profile works only three profiles however some of them are a little bit more complicated so we're gonna have a look uh, first of all I'm just going to go through the correct start procedure so when you import this uh, or when you finish the tutorial this is how it should look firstly we're gonna wait for the uh, device specified in the profile to be connected uh, once the device is connected uh, then you're going to see a scene uh, that will allow you to pick the method of calibration. So if you select on uh, calibration battery by battery life, it will just close it and continue with one of the profiles. If you click on the timer, um, you'll get to enter estimated uh, battery life of your Bluetooth device. When you open the tasker, you'll see uh, that I prepared three different profiles, one not responsible for startup, one for calibration and one to operate the battery estimate. Now the calibration and the battery estimate are very similar um, and uh, all basically all the math is done um, among few variables. The headset override contains exit and entry a task and the entry task is simple set the variable and perform opening scene. The variable is there to make sure uh, the scene will trigger correct profile because it won't otherwise if the device is off and the exit task is just uh, a control that variable as well. Now, so let's have a look how the uh, task for opening scenes looks like. So this is our scene, has few items that are hidden, and if you click on the calibration button, it does few things. It closes the scene, enables the profiles for calibration, and then runs the calibration for the first time if your Bluetooth was enabled already. In the button behind the TAMS profile, we have few visibility changes, so all the buttons will disappear, a few additional text will appear, and uh, number pickers as well. So these pickers will set uh, BTH, which stands for hour, and BTM for minutes to correct the values in seconds. These variables will be used later as a total uh, time available. Once you press the OK button, it will perform a few actions as well. It will set our B underscore T maximum time, we'll close the scene, and obviously we'll start the main profile for calculating the estimate of the battery. Let's have a look uh, now at the calibration profile. It's very similar to the main profile. It has a little bit less actions because it's much simple. So basically on the device connection, we'll lock what time this happened as we're gonna use this uh, value in seconds later to um, estimate how long the device was operating for. Now all the calculations uh, will be performed in the disconnect action. So if you have a look, we calculate our end time using the current time minus the variable from the start. Then we're clearing this variable, making sure that the total time is zero for calculations, and then we can start to adding those uh, intervals as well. Once we've got this, uh, when the device is disconnected, we just want a quick message asking us whether we would like to uh, continue with calibration or the device is fully discharged and we want to disable calibration, transfer over all the data and uh, uh, enable the main profile for calculating the um, current time to live of the device. 
all the profiles in here start with btc which is for calibration and we can clear them with a one variable clear and then matching pattern so let's have a look uh, now at the task that's being run when the calibration is done once the battery is dead we want to cancel any notification and estimate the b underscore t max which is a total value uh, of the se seconds and that the device lives and then we're going to clear all the variables from the calibration which start with btc after this we simply uh, enable the main profile for calibration and disable the calibration profile let's have a look at the main profile now main profile uh, very similar in the way we calculate things to the uh, calibration one so on the connect we have few things that will happen all the actions from number two to number eight uh, are there to give us a notification if the measurement has been taken before if it's not our first time to give us a notification with estimated time to live these values are uh, calculated in this connect task so if we don't have them uh, these actions won't run because the bt ttl which is time to live it's not set yet similarly as in the calibration profile we're just going to set bt start to the current value in seconds and 10 seconds later we will cancel any notifications if they are any pending in a disconnect task, in a similar fashion, we're calculating the end time, which is current time in seconds, mean minus bt start. And then we clear the variables and making sure that total times is zero if it's not set. So we could perform the calculation in step four. bt total tells us how much in total we used our device for uh, across different sessions. And it's used later to estimate how long our device will last. And we do this by removing bt total from b underscore t and uh, that's gonna be our time to live everything is cal calculated in seconds so we have to start converting this into minutes by dividing that uh, by 60 with uh, and rounding this up we get estimated in minutes if the minutes are less than 60 then obviously hours are set to zero otherwise uh, we're going to perform operation to calculate the minutes and calculate the hours separately as shows on as shown on the screen Lastly, we're going to display notification with two options, one to close and continue, and second uh, to click when the battery has died to reset everything. That will reset all the variables that start with uh, BT. So when our device is charged again and we reset the profiles, uh, everything is gonna be cleared apart from B underscore T max, which contains how uh, long the battery uh, can live on that uh, Bluetooth device. So in short, uh, device notification is uh, displayed when you connect. It will stay there for 10 seconds, showing you that uh, how much uh, battery you've got left. And then on disconnect, you have a new notification that tells you how much uh, battery you've got left. And uh, you've got option to close and continue and option to press and reset all the stats so you could start uh, calculating it again on a fully charged device. As usual guys, thanks so much for watching. For more information about this project, just visit my website and uh, you'll see uh, links to the profiles, links to the descriptions and files itself. Subscribe for more, stay connected, follow me on social media and uh, all that and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.